hi my dear friends today topic is automatic check printing process before going to automatic check printing process first you can configure house bank setup house bank setup actually uh, this house bank setup i uh, mean i created my previous videos that video link i will uh, give in the description please watch that it means before watching this video first you can watch house bank setup later you can create check lot what is mean by check lot check lot means to create check master data to create check number range okay see when when you see the one check one check number have six digit numerical digit okay one check have New six numerical digits example when you want to create check lot means you need to create first check number to last check number when you take one checkbook okay when you take one checkbook check lot creation means first check number to last check number let us have one of my checkbook have and two double zero double zero zero to the last check number have two double zero one double zero this is one checkbook numbers first check to last check and this number range from number to two number this number have 200 lot you know this is the lot number and this is the first check to last check number means basically this information will have checkbook first page not not on the first check when you open the checkbook the first page have uh, regarding to what is the lot number what is the check first number what is the check last number I mean entire information you will get it so when you going to check printing process first you can create check lot creation so what is the t code f c h i f c h i to create the check lot creation okay and go to sap enter fc fc hi enter enter your paying company code it means which company you are creating the check means this checkbook belongs to which company code example cm10 and this checkbook belongs to which house bank house bank means bank master data this is the means hdfc one and accounting id means this checkbook belongs to which account it mean like uh, accounting id represent the bank account number it means if this checkbook belongs to which bank account i am taking one of the accounting id so this is the company code and house bank and accounting id so in more information about house bank what is meant by house bank what is meant by accounting id i give the link of house bank creation in the description column let's watch and learn and give any code house bank and account id then click on here change you know there is a no a creation button you just click on here change button click on change and click on here, here create the first one is lot number example let us go to excel 200 is the last number lot number check lot number and this is the from check number and to check number and enter lot number 200 from one double zero two double zero double zero zero two two double zero one double zero when you click on your non sequence it means when you click on your non sequence the system will allow the check numbers for sequence when you don't select your non sequence the system allow the check numbers even like uh, you know non okay are you able to got my point 
when you click on your non sequence it means the system will allow non sequence means first i can take first check later i can take fifth check example seventh check means non sequence when you don't select here this radio button system will allow only sequence when you give first check later system will allow second check only okay there is a some sequence obviously this radio button is not required from the practice purpose okay check lot number and from check number to check number then click on here create then write the description hdfc checkbook okay then click on here save then go back you know so did you understand like uh, what how to create check lot number it means check number ranges and go to excel so this one is completed next the first one is I mean vendor line item report check vendor line item report what is the t code fbl1n first let us check the open item balance means the open items is available or not so just wait it's going on browse yeah the first step is vendor line item report vendor line item report what is the vendor line item report fbl 1n t code is fbl 1n why you want to check vendor line item report it means when you want to do the payment first you need to check there is a open item or not okay let us check vendor line item go to sap fbl 1n enter So it's going on browse. Let's wait and enter your vendor number and company code. Then click on your open items. Then click on your execute. So what is this? There is a no item selected. It means there is a no open item balance. So click on here all items, then click on here execute. So let us see here all the transactions, all the line items are cleared. No open item. The value is zero. The open item value is zero. So when you want to open item, so what you need to do, you need to post vendor invoice. So when you want to require open item, first you need to post vendor invoice posting. The T code is FB60. The T code is FB60. And uh, yeah, go to FB60, enter. I hope uh, you know my previous videos accounts payable and accounts receivable you know lot of times I posted FB60 FB70 let's watch my let's watch my previous videos for more understanding okay so when I come here the FB60 first you need to check company code means this FB60 which company code belongs to 
yes this is my company code cm10 in case this is not your company code let's change okay then click on here okay then enter here vendor number enter and document invoice date and posting date today date is 2308-2020 press enter the reference vendor invoice posting then in case you want to write any narration you can write it here example being vendor invoice posting then take the gl example like uh, commission paid let's take commission paid So where is commission paid? Yeah, so commission paid. Enter here invoice value example one lakh twenty five thousand. As usual, let's take business area and profit center. Profit center segment will pick automatically based on the profit center creation. Then press enter button in the keyboard. Enter again. So select this amount one lakh twenty five thousand. Then paste it here. Press again. See here, this is the green. It means this is success. Then click on here simulate. So what is the accounting entry 40 means debit 31 means credit and commission paid account data to TR and co vendor vendor account then click on here post So it's going on browse let's wait see this one go to document click on your display the 40 means debit 31 means vendor credit commission paid account data to vendor tr and co okay and this is the business area and profit center and segment okay then let's take this invoice number pasted here for reference okay this is invoice number and once again you can check fbl1n for your in understanding purpose go to fbl1n slash and go back enter here fbl1n enter then obviously you can enter vendor number and the company code and select your open item then click on here execute see how much open item is there one lakh twenty five thousand one lakh twenty five thousand go back example click on here all items once again then click on here execute See this one one lakh twenty five thousand. This is the open item. I mean opening open item line item. This is cleared item line items. Then go down, go down. So what is the one lakh twenty five thousand? Okay, we we'll go down, go to end one lakh twenty five thousand minus minus means open item. We need to pay. Yeah. So how to clear this open item? How to clear? you want to clear and see this one is completed and this one also completed and you need to post payment post vendor payment 
example post vendor payment means this 1 lakh 25000 1 lakh 25000 how to clear means you need to pay you need to pay vendor payment let us do the vendor payment f dash 53 f dash 53 you know very well how to post f dash 53 go to f dash 53 enter and enter your document date and document type kz kz means vendor payment document type company code posting date month and currency reference vendor payment in case if you want to write any narration you can write it then the bank account hdfc outgoing payment where is hdfc outgoing yeah hdfc outgoing payment then entered the value 125000 then in case you want to add any text you can add it then take your vendor number 12 i mean 6720001015 then click on your process open item yeah so this is the invoice number kr means invoice number like uh, this is the value 125000 125000 is the invoice value 125000 is the payment value then i mean the result is zero then click on your post go to document click on your details or display see this one 50 means credit 25 means vendor debit so vendor account data to hdfc outgoing payment account okay and uh, let's take this document number and uh, here you can enter okay then go back and let's check once again fbl 1n the value are cleared or not fbl 1n enter then vendor number company code and select your open item then click on your execute see this one there is a no open item balance means that value was cleared then click on your all items then click on your execute see there is a no open item line item go down go down see this one now the zero now the zero yeah the next step is very 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 important what is that automatic check update and print automatic check update and print okay so this is the very very important why i need to do above steps it means i want to show this step automatic check update and print see this one here in this f-53 i posted vendor payment document at the time of f-53 i didn't update any check number so when you post fbz5 the check number updated on 15000013 and the check will be goes to print okay the check number will updated on payment document and check will be printed let us go to fbz5 let us go to fbz5 enter then enter document number which document number you need to enter you need to enter the document number is payment document number let us check here payment document number if it is not you can change it no problem okay 
payment document number then company code and fiscal year then payment method payment method means are you giving bank transfer or are you say check t means bank transfer c meet check then enter check lot number example my check lot number is 200 let us take 200 then alternative form here you can enter standard program f110 underscore prenum underscore underscore chck this is the standard program even keep it on your mind this program we are maintained at the time of app configuration automatic payment program configuration in the t code uh, fb zp there also we are maintained same program here also you can maintain same program what is that program f110 underscore prenum underscore chck then enter here printer name our standard printer is lp01 and lp01 in case in the real time you need to enter your printer name then go to check click on here print okay means this is the payment document number i am updating on check check lot from check lot number 200 okay then click on here print yeah it's going on browse yeah see this one this is the check and this is the payment advice when you click on here when you click on here this check click on this check and select this line item then click on here display see this one this is the check this is the vendor details and vendor address then go down see this one this is the payment document number okay and this is the vendor number okay and uh, this is the description dear sir and madam we have settled to the item like blah 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 xyz this is the description and you go down see this one this is the document number and this is the check number two double zero double zero zero the number was picked from this number range first check the first check was picked and this is the date and this is the amount so this one one lakh twenty five thousand this is the bank phone number bank account number and this is the check number two double zero double zero zero so this one this is the hdfc bank hyderabad one so this one yeah one lakh twenty five thousand okay yeah and go down and this is the company name cmr steels private limited let's give the printout and enter the stamp and sign and send to the bank then go back and go back again click on your payment advice then select and details see this one this is the payment advice this advice you need to send your like uh, vendor so this is the invoice number oh go to excel this is the invoice number see this one invoice number means we are paying this payment against of this invoice number okay and go down and this is the payment document number one five double zero double zero one three this is the payment document number yeah this is the date currency inr and value okay then go back go back slash and go back yeah so this is one method actually this is one method i will tell you another method i will tell you another me method 
instead of fbzp instead of fbzp do and sorry fbz5 fbz5 see here when i use to post pay, vendor payment f-53 when i post vendor payment f-53 later i can update check number fbz5 then give the printout so why i want to use two t codes first i can post vendor document sorry vendor payment later i need to update check number why i want to use two t codes when you use only one t code the t code is called f-58 in this f-58 means post payment document means vendor payment document or customer payment document with check printing two t codes you can use converted as a one t code f-58 see this one and f-28 means customer payment f-53 means vendor payment when you use f-58 customer and vendor payment means this f-58 t code you can use it for customer payment or vendor payment with check printing okay customer payment and vendor payment with the check printing let's analyze once again for this another method for your understanding purpose okay i think this is the lengthy video no problem for you can understand more information this is i mean this is one of the uh, it's used to crack the interview okay and first obviously you can check your bl1n let us check open item opening balance is there or not i think there is no open item balance let us check once again your bl1n enter and click on your open item execute there is a no open items all items then go back go down the no value okay then go back the value is zero now okay now how to get the open item means you need to post vendor invoice posting vendor invoice posting okay go to fb60 enter enter your vendor number and uh, invoice date and posting date and uh, narration take your gl number gl means commission paid and the amount is let us take uh, 75000 let us take 75000 and as usual i'm going fast i already explained how to post this vendor invoice and uh, chba like house i mean business area then uh, profit center then press enter enter again then select this and control c paste here press enter enter again then click on your simulate see this one 40 means debit 31 means credit of vendor commission paid account data to vendor then click on your post yeah go to document click on your display then this is the document should be updated yeah now you can use f-58 now you can use f-58 okay f-58 used for customer and vendor payments with the check printing okay with the check printing and go to slash n f-58 press enter enter your uh, like uh, company code and payment method as usual and house bank then lot number my lot number is 200 okay then 
program f110 underscore p r e n u m like uh, c h c k and enter your printer name okay and click on here enter payments this is the standard this is the standard actually house bank lot number the program then method and company code like printer okay then click on here enter payments enter payments then click on here enter payments yeah then amount 75000 okay in case you want to add reference you can add it vendor payment in case of header text and clearing text you want to write any narration you can write it then enter the amount then in case you want to add more information you can add it for narration you want to add more narration you can add it here then see this one when you post vendor invoice you can take vendor number when you post customer i mean not vendor invoice vendor payment document when you post vendor payment document you can enter vendor number when you post customer payment document you can enter customer number so now i am posting vendor payment document i am posting vendor payment so you need to take vendor number okay then click on your process open item then uh, like uh, the value is zero then click on here save or post see this one the payment document was generated then click on here ok continue see print job was generated print job was generated it means the payment document are posted the check printing purpose one job was generated so how to execute the job how to check the jobs sp01 sp01 all the jobs is available sp01 go to sp01 enter then click on your executes right away see this one today 23 right yeah this one then click on your details see go down see 75000 yeah what is this this is for payment advice go back then select the next one check details this is the check number this is the check number yeah check details two double zero double zero one check number okay sequence it's taking sequence seventy five thousand and all go back yeah this is the one so this one also completed do one thing let us check let us check check register let us check check register check register is called uh, fchn t code is called fchn for check register slash n go back fchn enter this is the check register actually enter your company code house bank accounting id then enter lot number <laughs> means then click on your execute like company code house bank accounting id then click on your execute see this one so this tick two two check numbers two double zero double zero zero and two double zero double zero one this is the payment document numbers and this is the value the first one is 125000 second one is 75000 this is the vendor number so vendor name okay this is the check register actually all the checks information 
populate here okay all the check register what means what is the check register means what is the check number how much value this check number issued to whom this is cleared or not entire information available here this is the check register all the checks information available so what is the t code fchn okay so thanks for watching even house bank configuration i will give you in the description first you can watch house bank configuration then create check lot let's start for check printing process okay thank you thank you very much